ladies and gentlemen, it is the final chapter. We shall deal the final stroke to the enemy. Kadosh, MM Kadar. Open. Bitchin'. All right. We go to end this scourge forever. Whoa. You see that? Oh, shit. I have no mana. I guess he uh, kills your mana, too. Ooh, I should have saved that. Oh, well. This Army of Darkness spell will probably be of great help here. Oh! I forgot the eye! <laughs> well, that was very anticlimactic. I forgot to recharge the eye of Inos. Woo! That was, uh, that was a big panic moment there. Alright, I think there were some, uh, Alchemy benches here. Yarp. Ah, wrong side. No. Right, recharge that shit. And where that shit? Yeah. It's pretty cool how it automatically switches to that amulet. But I wonder why it only does it with that one. Well, I don't know. Probably because they're fairly certain you'll be wearing that one. Or maybe it'll just automatically switch if you only have one amulet in your inventory. I don't know. I don't know how they work this shit. Alright, now we do this. Alright, you big nasty bitch. So now you've managed to find me. I've waited all too long for your arrival. Come on, stop pretending you planned it that way. <laughs> what do you know of my intentions? Have I not sent you the Seekers to lure you onto my trail? Have I not left the signs of my existence so clearly that you absolutely could not miss me? We're not the possessed of your kind reason enough for you to seek after the secret driving force. As much as you twist and turn, you cannot dispute all of that. There is only one thing that was not predetermined. You have destroyed one of my servants. He was chosen to bear the claw. As I see, you now bear it. For this outrage, you will die. <sighs> so you're not omnipotent after all. Who are you? <laughs> you still have For to ask that? Something like Search that. Search within yourself, you fool. Omnipotent? You know who I am. I bear no name. Just as you bear no name. I am given the divine power from my creator. Just as you bear the power of your god in you. My fate is in the destruction of the world. Just as the preaching of the faith of Enos is your purpose, magician of fire. Do you not feel the bond that ties us together? Yes. You know who I am. No, that cannot be. Zardis always said... Zardis is weak and no threat to me. You alone are worthy of facing me. So it is written. The time has come to accept your fate. Hmm, there is some... thickened plot there. Why are you here? The divinity bestowed upon me will inspire me to drown the world in a river of violence. Only when the last fortress of the righteous has fallen shall I rest. Hmm. On whose behalf are you leading your minions to war against humankind? My master is the Lord of Night. You know him. You can hear his call. My armies will rise from the ground in his name and shroud the world in darkness. Enough said. I shall chase you back under the rock from whence you crept, you monster. Ha <laughs> ha. You're not yet ready to defeat me. Only one brief moment, and I shall have reached my goal. 
Do you really believe you can injure me with the claw? I'm not about to try to. Your bones will serve me to let the ill winds of death blow across the world. We shall see about that. These bones shall serve me to kill you. Need potions quick. Time for a demon. I probably should have done this, really. You don't want to go too far to the outsides of the arena, because there are actually more enemies out there. Oh shit. Of course he's going to do that. Fight all the wrong things. Oh no, he's fighting the dragon now. That's pretty sweet. Get out of there! They're not doing anything, really. Get away from me! Oh my god, that hurt. Christ. This is not working at all. Get away from me. I'm gonna have to make a run for it. They're not doing enough damage. Shit. I thought they would do a lot more damage than that. Oh boy. I'm going to have to make a bunch of them. He's not getting his health back. That's a good thing. Usually the dragons regenerate. No! They fight each other? Shit! Ah, oh, bugger. I didn't know they did that. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm glitched. I can't fucking close the menu. Okay. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm not trying to move. Oh my god, that was stupid. Seriously. Oh. Yes. Yeah, sh sh shut your fucking mouth. So not Who I do Why could I my mad mom? How do you See how well this works. Oh, that hardly did anything. Where'd he go? Oh man, this guy's a lot tougher than I thought he was. No, honestly, I think these guys did a better job than the demon did. Oh, he's back at full health. Shit. Go get him. I'm just gonna have to keep making these. Hopefully they can do better than that. I really hope they don't just do a bunch of infighting. He can one-hit them, so that really is a problem. Uh-oh. As long as I don't get near that gate, I don't think that orc will come out. <laughs> That's how you gotta do it, I guess. This is pretty boring. Oh well. Do what you gotta do, I suppose. <laughs> He's so fucked. Oh man, he is fucked. Look at that shit. Boot. Where the hell did I get that sword? 
Whoa. <gasps> what is this treachery? What are you doing? my business I can't see well that's that the undead dragon is dealt with and for some reason it puts you all the way down here even though you can actually go back and loot something from him but in reality what you loot from him is really just a great big mystery See, you get the, well, you get dragon blood, but you also get the soul stone. An object which actually has absolutely nothing, no function in this game whatsoever. And in terms of lore, it's not at all mentioned at any point in this game, in the next game, or anywhere else. So, it's really just, I don't know. I wonder if it's something they were planning to actually make uh... relevant and they just failed to do so maybe they just ran out of time or just kinda of forgot that they ever started that idea in the first place well that's that we have killed the final bastard now all that's left is just to head on home well hello Diego hey you it's all over. Now we can get out of here. Now will you look at this? I've never seen such a construction all my life. How on earth did you manage to get past that thing? I was lucky, I suppose. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> if you say so. What are you going to do now? That's a good question. I think I'll go back to Corinna's first. Hmm. Or maybe I'll simply take over Bromo's business. There's always money in that. Honest money. Go to the captain now, and let's get out of here. Roger, Admiral. Well. That was quite an endeavor. Even though none of the effort was my own. <laughs> I guess that's just the easy way to do it. Fire rain did nothing to him, and I'm sure that none of my other spells really would have done anything either. The holy missile did nothing. Well, hello there, Melty. Whoa. Does this book, Almanac of the Possessed, ring a bell? Pyrocar is the expert on this type of book. Sorry. I know too little to be able to say anything intelligent about that. Fair enough. Do you have experience with dragon eggs? No, not really. I have heard that a clever alchemist once managed to brew a powerful potion from it. But please don't ask me for the rest. Well, we already found that. All right, that's it. The temple is now deprived of its power. How do you always pull it off, hmm? Damn if I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ever going to get any peace? We've certainly deserved it. What will you do now? I'm thinking about founding my own academy and preaching our faith. But it could turn out otherwise. I've never regretted becoming a magician of fire. How do you feel about it? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Dry as always. Hey man, you just saved the world. Isn't that reason to rejoice? Hmm, maybe. Come on, my friend. I think the first thing you need now is 40 winks. You should go straight to the captain and tell him to weigh anchor. Roger, Admiral. Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose saving the day is something to be pleased about. What I'm mostly concerned with is, did Angar make it out alive? Well, here's Lester. Yep, there's Angar. I'm glad he didn't fall to his untimely demise. After all that. You were right. Mario has betrayed us. Yes. I may not be too perceptive otherwise, but this case was clear to me. 
Be a bit more careful about choosing your companions in the future. Yes, sir. We won't be here much longer. It's like my headaches just blew away. How did you do that? I have destroyed the enemy. It must have been something very powerful. So what was it exactly? An undead dragon. Your former friends from the swamp camp gave me a pretty hard time. Yes. Faith can move mountains. That's how it's always been. Unfortunately, they served the wrong god. I'll need some time before I can really get over all this. Hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. There isn't as much swamp weed in the world as I'd like to smoke right now. Hmm. So he knew that they were his former brothers. But we never actually had the opportunity to tell him. Now I hate that I kept missing out on shit like that. Hey, you. Good to see you're alive. You pulled through. Can we finally get out of here? Yep, the enemy has been defeated. Then let's not waste any more time. Go to the captain and tell him to weigh anchor. I hope there aren't any more of you renegade sect members. Anything is possible. The seekers were very thorough, though. Even I almost became enslaved by them. Who knows? What will you do next? Maybe I'll retire to the country and become a farmer. I'm tired of fighting. Hmm. Well, sorry to say, but my foresight tells me that that doesn't end up happening. I really hate the way all these characters were represented in the next game. I feel like the only character who kind of, sort of, somewhat seemed like himself was Diego, really. None of the other guys really just seem like their own personalities. And it's a shame that uh, Piranha Bytes really couldn't carry that over because they were really just one of the best things about this game. Just how every character, for the most part, seemed the same. Like, uh, between the games, I mean, Larry has changed, but he was never really that big of a deal. Hey, you! We can be on our way now. The enemy's dead. Very good. Then tell the captain to weigh anchor. May our paths cross again someday after this adventure. Roger. Whew. Well, it's been a very long journey. This shall soon come to a close, thankfully. I don't think there's anyone else chilling out here. I don't know why all these guys left the ship before I could confirm that everything was done. Their whole reasoning for staying behind on the ship was they wanted to defend it and make sure we had a way out of here. And that's why they didn't follow me into the fray. But, uh, I guess, whatever. Now that they know I cleared out the mess, they just have free roam. Hello, Gorn, I see you there. It's a shame you couldn't join me, I'm sure you would have loved that shit. You stayed with the ship? Sure I did. Just imagine what we'd do if it weren't there anymore. There's nothing left here for us. Tell the captain to clear the ship. Yes, sir. Seems like the man who saved the day is not the one in charge. I don't believe this. Hey, you! You don't really seem to care about all this. Ah, uh, you know. I thought you'd make it. What are you going to do now? No idea. I'll guess I'll follow you for now. Well, there's no other way out of here. You should have known better. Tired? I'm completely done in. Go hit the sack. We'll soon be at sea again. Thank you. I already thought I'd fall right off this bench. Good night. Good night. Hello, Bennett. How do you feel? Hey. I've got a dragon egg here. Well? Well, I thought... I know what you're thinking. Forget it. Keep the thing. I don't want it. Whatever you say. We've done all we needed to do. I'm glad to hear that. I've just had about enough of this old smithy. I need to plant my feet on solid ground once more. Cool. Hey, Vatras. You want to hear the news? Hey. I've got an almanac of the possessed here. Hmm. 
I think it would be best if I take it to Pyrocar in the monastery. If we get away from here again. You're welcome. I did it. I know. I can feel it. You have dealt a blow to Beliar, which will keep him busy for some time. But bear in mind that this was only an episode in the eternal battle between good and evil. Evil always finds a way to enter this world. The war will never end. Only Adana stands between the warring gods in order to preserve the balance. He should have helped me instead. But he did. Of that, you can be certain. Tell the captain that he should weigh anchor as soon as possible. A momentary peace may be deceptive. He says the war will never end. We'll see about that. In truth, I'm really curious to know what Piranha Bites would have uh, come up with as an actual sequel to to a, to a, to a, to, a, to a Gothic Three, since uh, Joe Wood just kind of ran away with the story afterwards. We can cast off now. It's about time. I thought for sure I would rot here on this rock. Now surrender the ship to me immediately. We're not in Carinus yet, and to be honest, I'm not terribly keen on going back to Carinus. I've been there long enough. I thought as much. But this is neither the time nor the place to straighten this out. We shall discuss this again at sea. So what? I'm glad to have you back on board in one piece nevertheless. Even if you are a rascal, in the end you acted with righteousness. All right. Damn straight. All right. We've dicked around enough. Time to cast off. The enemy is dead. That's good news. Is that all we needed to do on this island? And the human slew the beast, and it entered into Belyar's realm. Zardas! What exactly happened in the Temple of Irdarath? With the help of Inos, you have defeated the Avatar of Evil. And I have taken its power unto myself. Since I left the Circle of Fire, this alone has been my goal. What was denied to me in the Temple of the Sleeper has now finally come to pass. Belyar has chosen me. Cast off! So, you obey the God of Darkness now? No, I do not obey Belyar any more than you obey Enos. Not even the gods know what fate has in store for us. And I am only just beginning to grasp what options are open to me. But one thing is certain. We shall meet again. That was a hell of a cliffhanger. Hey, this is a song I started the series with, if you guys remember. Well, that's pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm going to speak up a little louder just to make sure I'm audible over this music. That was Gothic 2, and it has been a hell of a journey. This is easily the longest it's taken me to beat any game on my channel so far. Uh, it's probably not the longest series I've done in total. I was playing Dark Souls to death back when I did that, and that took over 80 videos, I think. This is definitely got to be the second longest one I've done, though. We're going to be close to 70 parts by the time this is uploaded. The truth is, I just uploaded part 61. So, whatever this ends up being, you got to realize I did a lot of that in a very short time. But... In all honesty, this is a wonderful game, but I'm glad it's done. It's just taken me too long. And, uh... I'm gonna tell you guys, Gothic 3 is not coming next. But it will be coming soon enough. There's something in between I want to do just for fun. But that's gonna happen after my October Halloween special. But it is going to be Gothic related. I'll tell you that, but apart from that, there isn't much else to say. Um, 
I know this has been one of the... Uh, well, it is the one game I'm playing right now that most of you s seem especially interested in. And, uh, hate to break your hearts, but it's over. Uh, but thank you all who have supported this Let's Play and have uh, supported me for playing it. it. I know it took me a while, and I know over this summer I was very lax with my uploads. Big apologies, but I don't know, shit just happened. And it is now done. And, uh, hope you guys don't mind me going away from Gothic for a little while. It's just gonna be a month, really, but I just... Even when I started, I knew I wanted to do all, like, the Piranha Bytes games. But I didn't want to seem like I was just a Piranha Bytes guy doing nothing but, like, Gothic Let's Plays and Risen and all that. I wanted to keep the variety going. And that's pretty much why it's happening now. I'm going to have the October thing going at the same time as Psychonauts and The Witcher 2, which I've been doing for a while as well. And, yeah. But Gothic... Pretty much once I'm done with Gothic 3, unless uh, Piranha Bytes comes out with a new game before I finish that, which you know I'm going to play. But I'm assuming it won't be released before I finish Gothic 3, so... That'll be the last Piranha Bytes game for a while. Hope you don't mind. Uh, uh, I will tell you right now, there is no chance in hell of me doing Forsaken Gods. I hate that game so bad. I even bought the Enhanced Edition hoping it would be better, and in reality, it the only improvement was the fact that it worked. When I first got Forsaken Gods, it did not work. That was the most broken game I've ever played. But I'm gonna be quiet. There's something happening here. We're overloaded. We have to toss some of the gold overboard. Get your hands off the gold. Listen, it would be really better if we. I don't want to hear any more about it. I've heard the war with the orcs is going badly. And we probably won't be able to spend all the gold anywhere. The gold stays on board. What good is the gold if we capsize in the tiniest storm? But I don't see a storm. Not yet. Relax. Everything will turn out all right. Famous last words. Well, so as I was saying, I'm not doing Forsaken Gods. There's a very slim chance of me doing uh, Arcania, because that almost equally sucked. It was not quite as bad, but yeah, it was just no good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Gothic 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And it seems like you guys did too, so thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you around.